of his children. It's, I, I think that's a bad model of masculinity. If, if he's doing that for shock value, he should say he's doing it for shock value, and then he should stop doing it for shock value because people take him seriously, and he has a huge platform. And again, that doesn't mean that all of the critiques of him are right. In fact, I think a huge number of the critiques of him are wrong. If you go back and you look at my evolution on Tate, uh, you'll see I did a video about him maybe three years ago in which I was much more laudatory of many of the things he was saying about feminism. And then as he became more and more caricature of himself, I became a lot less forgiving of the caricature. Uh, so, you know, do I think that it is, is a positive thing for the world that, that his version of masculinity is hit things hard, you know, walk around, you know, without a shirt, with, uh, with a cigar in your mouth, being, you know, egoistic about your attraction to various models. Like, that's, I'm, I'm sorry, that's not masculine. It's not good masculine. It does not make good men. It makes, he's, it, makes, it makes bad men. Now, would I rather that there be men than no men? Sure. Would I rather be good men than just men? Absolutely. Because all men have the same, t same temptations. I mean, this is something that all religion teaches. We all have the same temptations, right? We all want money. We all want women. We all want, like, we all want the same thing. But the whole point of religion and religious institutions and morality is to hem that into a context where it is useful. And so you're using it for the natural good. And so anything that, that sort of explodes those things and treats them as though they are hallmarks of a distant past that, that ought to be dispensed with, I think that that's teaching men precisely the wrong lesson. Right now, men don't need to have revenge on women. Right now, men need to find a good woman, and then they need to settle down with that good woman. And anything that forwards that is good, and anything that inhibits that is bad. I think it's a very fair opinion. You know, I can see exactly where your viewpoint is, where it lies, and how you feel about him. I think that was really fair. Um, when talking about debates and, uh, you know, making an impact on the person you're speaking with, is there a time that you can recall a debate or an interview where you feel like you walked away from it being like, wow, I really feel like they understood where I came from and I made a difference? I mean, I think that happens actually very frequently. Uh, very often, those conversations sort of happen offline as opposed to in all the conversation. And there's sort of debates where you're talking to somebody who is famous. It's, it's more frequent there where somebody will, will you know, say, oh, that's a good point and move on. Once people are famous, then they sort of have a stake in being who they are. Because it's their audience. Exactly. They're very to say. They're selling themselves to, like, I know a lot of people are upset that I'm taking this route, but I can't short myself from learning and inviting these guests on and learning. So if my audience chooses to walk away because I want to learn, that's on their, that's their decision. I can never force them to listen, but I'm not going to short myself by pleasing my audience. I think my audience is proud of me because I stood up for what I believe in and I want to learn. And I don't but I want to circle back to college because you made it very clear that they are ruining critical thinking. They are getting in the way of people actually having thoughts for themselves and they're building more of a victim mentality. But now we have like the Andrew Tate University, we have the Jordan Peterson University. Do you see in the far future that we're going to be moving towards professors and people that we actually care to listen to and enroll our appliances to their degrees and what they want us to teach? And do you think the real universities are coming down because now we're going to realize this is more of a profit machine? Well, I, mean, I wouldn't speak on Jordan's behalf. I will distinguish between what Jordan's doing and what Andrew's doing. Uh, you know, I think that Jordan's... It's the same thing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jordan's university's actual attempt, I think, to, to create a corpus... Sort of classical. shirtless with a cigar? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, no, you mistake. Um, <laughs> but... but Bloody well, but, but, but for, for, for Jordan, I think that the, you know, obviously he, he's attempting to create a classical corpus of knowledge uh, that's more in line with sort of what universities used to be. Uh, Andrew seems more like a, let me teach you how to do business kind of thing. Uh, you know, whether I think that that's useful or whether I think that his methodology of doing business are scam or not is, you know, between me and him probably, or between people who use it and, and, and you know, him since they're paying him. Um, but, you know, as far as sort of the general overall question as to whether universities themselves uh, are, are going to collapse because they are oversold and because they don't perform their function and other places will take take the, the fill the gap. Yeah, I do think that that's going to happen. I think you're seeing it happen right now. It's not gonna happen in math and science and, and it shouldn't happen in math and science. Those are actual objective fields in which people need to know a body of knowledge in order to do things. So if you're going to medical school, I wouldn't say don't go to college, right? Like that's, that, that's silly. Uh, or you're gonna be a mathematician. Okay, you, you need to go to college. Um, if, if you're talking about, I, I need to go study political science. I'm a lawyer. I mean, I, I think that 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 process is is at an end. I think that you're going to see alternative ways for people to approach this sort of stuff. I mean, I went to the best schools. And I went to UCLA. I went to Harvard Law. Uh, yeah, I've seen sort of the scam that is what's valuable and then what's not. And the the universities have have signally failed in their proper function which is to both teach critical thinking and also to teach other values i mean all these universities were in fact founded 
as Chris 